Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the third power minus 5x squared plus 7x minus 5, and we have to find all the points of relative minima and maxima. So first thing I want to do is find the first derivative here. So we're going to use a power rule here, f prime of x, let's call it. 3 comes down, x squared, pretty easy. Minus 2 times 5 is a 10x, and then we have plus just a 7. So the derivative is actually pretty easy to get right here. Now from there, we need to set this derivative to 0. Okay, so we find those critical points, 3x squared minus 10x plus 7, and we set it equal to 0. Well, this uh, function factors. So this factors out to be a 3x minus 7 times an x minus 1, and that's equal to 0. From there, we can set each part equal to 0. 3x minus 7 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. Add a 7 divided by 3 x equals a 7 thirds. Add a 1 to both sides, x equals 1. So from here, we need to use our chart. Okay, uh, We have a little chart going on right here. We put our two values right there, and this is like our first derivative test. We're going to see what happens here. This is going to help us determine what's going on. Put 1 here, the lower value, and then 7 thirds. So what we're going to do is plug in a value that's less than 1 into our derivative right there. So I did that for you, and I got I plugged in 0, so f prime of 0 comes out to just be a 7. I just care that it's a positive 7, and so our function is increasing on this interval. From there, I did a value between 1 and 7 thirds, which was 2, so f prime of 2. Plugged it into my derivative, and I got a negative 1. I just care that it's negative and that it's decreasing. From there, I found a value larger than 7 thirds, and that was, uh, I picked 3, so f prime of 3 came out to be a positive 4. It's positive, that's what I care about, meaning we're increasing here. So our function is increasing, then it's decreasing. We have a relative max there, and the function is decreasing, then increasing. We have a relative minimum there. And so I plug those points in, we have a, I'll label it here, a relative minimum and a relative maximum. Okay. Relative minimum, I took 7 thirds, I plugged it into my original function to get the coordinate point. That's 7 thirds comma negative 86 over 27. And for the relative maximum, plugged 1 into my original function up there, and I got a negative 2. And so our final answer here is we have a relative minimum at 7 thirds, comma, negative 86 over 27, and a relative maximum at 1, comma, negative 2. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.